Well, my laptop's been probably one of my most useful business tools over the years. Well, something's uh, replaced it. Believe it or not, a USB memory key. These little guys come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Uh, basically, they're flash memory. You can store all sorts of files on here, anything from documents to photos, music, even video. This one's pretty big. It's from SanDisk. It's their cruiser model, and it's coming in at four gigabytes of capacity. It's uh, enormous. I can fit literally hours and hours of video on here and like I said thousands of uh, songs or music. What I like about this one is that it has U3 technology as well and this is important if you're going to be picking up a USB key you'll want to make sure that you have that built in. And what it essentially allows you to do is to run programs directly from the actual key. You don't have to rely on the host computer for that. And let me show you how this all works. I'm going to plug it into the side of my laptop and I'll just take a few seconds here. Once it's installed and set up, it puts a little U3 icon in my system tools tray. And by clicking on it, up comes the launch pad. And this really is amazing. From here, I can explore my flash drive and I can dump all sorts of different uh, documents, uh, songs, music, video on there. But I can also run programs. And I can download additional programs and install it right on the device as well. Everything from uh, antivirus and anti-spyware. So I can actually run antivirus on any PC or laptop that I plug this into. You can even use Skype. But what I want to show you today, which is probably one of the most cool things about this, is the Cruiser Sync. And what this allows me to do is sync all of the important documents that I need, no matter where I am. I can take that from computer to computer and always have access to them. Even more important, I can even sync up my Outlook files. And let me show you how I do that. By going to a new profile, I can simply go through the setup menu and ask me what language I want. Of course, I've always got to read the agreement here and sign off. And then it's going to ask me for my profile name. I'll just keep the default one. Type in my password. This time I'll just use 1234. And on the next screen here, I'm going to be able to actually select the different folders or document types that I want to be synced onto the device from this laptop onto the flash memory. And it'll also allow me to sync up my Outlook. So you can see here, if I've got Outlook or Outlook Express, I can set that. Here's the file setting, and I can select all files if I want to. I can select certain media, like video, songs, or pictures. Or I can select just Office files. And if I want to, there's advanced settings. I can select specific folders. I can choose uh, my favorites from the internet browser I use. I use Internet Explorer. What I mean by that, all your bookmarks, it'll remember them and put them on the USB key. And I'll show you what that's all about when we put it into the next laptop. Plus, I can also synchronize my desk wallpaper or desktop wallpaper so that no matter what PC or laptop that I go to, it always feels like home. And finally, I can have it start the synchronization every time that I put it in here. And by hitting the next key, it'll automatically start dumping all that information onto the USB key. But I've already set up a profile ahead of time, so we'll put it onto the next PC here. So this PC doesn't have uh, any of my Outlook files or any of the documents that I've put on here. On this one, I've put all my Excel files that I told it to do from my, my own personal laptop. By plugging it in, the U3 icon has now appeared on this laptop. And remember, no matter what PC or laptop that I plug this into, as long as it's running Windows XP, it becomes my PC as far as all the settings in my email. I'll show you what I mean by that. I click on this and I go up to the Cruiser Sync Edition. And you don't have to worry. If someone already has their Outlook settings and stuff on their particular PC, it doesn't erase that at all. So I'm going to put in my profile. It's already reading that. It's going to ask for my password. It'll activate secure browsing. This will take a few moments. And basically what that means, every time I surf the internet now from this PC, it remembers all my settings and once I leave no one can go in and check out my history or all the cookies that I might have laid on this one. Now it's going to open up the uh, dmailer program which is uh, an email program that's taken all of my Outlook settings and all of my inbox and outbox and, and sent files. So the cool thing is I can now use this to email out and it remembers all of my mail settings. So even if I'm in an internet cafe for example using one of the internet terminals as long as I plug this in it's my Outlook file settings and when I'm sending out an email it's coming from my mail address. Once I want to go, take out the USB key, all of these files and everything come with me. 
However, if I do want to, I can hit the copy to PC button and it'll dump all the files right onto the remote PC or the, uh, uh, the PC that I'm borrowing. So again, it's probably one of the most useful tools that I have now because now I don't have to bring my laptop with me. I can bring my USB key and as long as there's a computer wherever I'm going, I've got my files, my emails and my documents with me. Thank you.